Alright, so I recorded this video without any audio, so I'm just dubbing the audio over later. Uh, this is the derivatives of periodic functions uh, using the product rule. Uh, so if we're going to use the product rule, remember the product rule if uh, two functions are multiplied by each other, uv. The product rule says that y dash is equal to uv dash plus v u dash. Little mistake there. Uh, wiggle the mouse around a little bit. What am I, what am I talking about here? I don't know. Okay, so up here you can see that we have a function y equals x squared times sine x. Uh, there's our u, x squared, and there's our v, sine x. So now we just need to write a little summary here, u, v, u dash, and v dash. Now the u is um, x squared, the v is sine x. Now u dash is the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. And finally, v dash is the derivative of sine x, which is cos x. Now we just need to put this together into our formula. Uh, it'll be pretty straightforward here. y dash is equal to u v dash, which is cos x, plus v u dash, so sine x times 2x. Now this looks super ugly here. Uh, the back end of that looks pretty ugly, so let's just redo it. x squared cos x plus 2x sine x. Uh, that's, that's really it for that. You don't really need much more there. Uh, here's a second example. Um, y equals 3 sine 2x cos x. Now this is a slightly more complicated example because our u, 3 sine 2x, and our v, cos x, are both, um, both periodic functions. So we've got y equals uv, same as before. We need to use that formula, y dash equals uv dash plus vu dash. So u is our first one, 3 sine 2x. v is our second one, cos x. u dash, v dash. Okay, so u dash is the derivative of 3 sine 2x. That's going to be 3 cos 2x. And we need to put that 2 out the front as well. So it's actually going to be 6 cos 2x. Don't forget when you find the derivative of a periodic function. If it's the derivative of a periodic function with a, with a function inside it, you need to bring the derivative of that function out the front, if that made sense. Uh, finally, v dash is negative sine x. The derivative of cos x is negative sine x. Now you just need to put it all together. Make sure you've got plenty of space. I've obviously left myself not enough space here. y equals u, which is 3 sine 2x, times v, which is... Oh, sorry, times v dash, which is negative sine x, plus v u dash, so plus cos x times negative sine x. Oops, uh, v u dash, which is uh, 6 cos 2x. Okay, so that's pretty ugly, but you can start sort of putting some stuff together here. Um, 3 sine 2x times negative sine x. It's going to be negative 3 sine 2x sine x. And this bit's going to be it's going to be a six out the front. I hope he puts it in the front there. Yep, get rid of that. That six is going to come out the front. Six cos x cos two x. Okay, that's really it um, for the... There's more you can do there, but we're going to leave it there. That's all we really need to do for that kind of stuff.